Hello, hello. Oh good, there's nobody here yet. So I'm not too late, good. I just switched up the product carousel quickly. All right, doggies, come on. Up, up, up you go. Not in the coat. Um, hello, still nobody here quite yet. So, um, okay. Oh, I think I have one viewer. Oh, hello, yay, hi one viewer. <laughs> um, I'm Haley Feldman, and welcome to My Chic Style Live. I'm just uh, getting things here together. I think I have her thing. I did a last minute move on my um, product carousel, so that's why I'm a little bit delayed. Um, it is a windy and overcast day here in West Palm Beach, Florida, where I live, and I kind of like it. You know, uh, sometimes I wonder, why do I live in Florida? Like, <laughs> I'm, I'm such a New Yorker in, in a sense um, that I'm always excited by rain and darkness. <laughs> okay, I wanna just put something up here. Of course, I don't have a little clip. I must have a clip somewhere. Sorry, guys, one sec. I'm just trying to... I really want to show that, oh, you know what I could do? I could tuck the dress into the tall boots. Um, oh, but I'm showing the dress first, so. Okay, great, cool. Hi, I'm Haley Feldman. This is My Chic Style Live. Oops, this is a new bra, but I forgot to adjust the straps. Also bought on Amazon, not on the product carousel. Um, are, there, are there people that do, like, lingerie stuff? I can't imagine. It's, like, not that kind of platform. <laughs> um... And I have no hanger for my beautiful coat. Well, let's put it here. So, hi, welcome. We are doing a series in honor of President's Day. Oh, happy President's Day to you. Oh, look at that. Uh, oh, hi, Walter, you're from California? Walter, what's the weather like there? What are you dressing? How are you dressing in California right now? Um, this is very, very interesting to me because, of course, I style everything based on my chic style. It's what this whole live is called, My Chic Style Live right? With Haley Feldman, me. But um, I'm always curious to know like, what you guys are shopping for and what you're looking for, where you're living, special occasions. Hey, Susan, it's rainy. So Walter, tell me, like, are you shopping right now for raincoats on Amazon, for instance? Um, things like that are wonderful ways for me to help you curate so that you don't have to. Because you know what I do all day? Susan is one of my friends who's um, who's been here before, Walter, I don't know if you missed your first time here at My Chic Style Live or not, um, but if it is, I love to get my friends input. Like, what are you shopping for? Do you have any special occasions coming up? Um, last week, one of my friends, Wendy, said that she had a bridal shower as well as a wedding to go to, and she needed help curating items for those occasions. So, ask and you shall receive. I actually have started to curate those kinds of lives. So, um, Walter, not at the moment you're thinking vacation. Actually, vacation's coming, Susan, you read my mind. Um, Walter, if you go to my storefront, so this is the Amazon Live, if you click my little face and then you go to my storefront, there is an ideas list and it's pinned to the very, very top of my storefront and it's called Live Shopping. There are amazing, gorgeous um, rain boots. They're like a patent, they look like patent black leather, but they're not. I was just wearing them this morning. I was wearing them yesterday because it was raining here yesterday as well. Come here, Anna. All right, Anna, say hi, but don't get, don't get on my mommy's dress. Okay. They're called Plana, P-L-A. You know what, I'm gonna type it into the chat because I could already help you. I, I, I think they have men's. Walter, I'm assuming you're a man. I, I don't know any women named Walter, but I could be totally wrong. And if that's the case, tell me. So it's Plano, can you, you guys could see. I don't have an assistant. I'm new, kind of fairly new to live, so <laughs> surprise. Plano, rain, food. Okay, 
So, um, I wonder if I could even like type the link in. Probably. But you know what? I could, I'll do it after, but search for that. Good tip, thank you. Yes, mail, 64. Awesome. You should move to Palm Beach. That's like, there's so many guys that are men, 64 year old men in, in Palm Beach. Although, you know, it's really turning around though. It's quite a young area now. Um, you would be surprised how many young people are here, especially where I live in uh, downtown West Palm Beach. It's, it's one of the number one booming cities. And Walter, you may know, um, I don't know what part of California you live in, but I know a lot of um, friends from LA, um, from Silicon Valley, they've all moved to South Florida just to get out of LA. Same with a lot of people with New York too. They're like, oh, I'm done, I wanna get out of here. Um, so yeah, it's changing here, but my, I'm, this is, I'm talking to you guys out of my bedroom. <laughs> I thought for a second that I was going to do the live in my living room, which I did on my, the second live I ever did, ever, um, was in my living room and it, it just, I have direct lighting here. I have two big light, uh, two big, well, I do have a selfie light thing, whatever. It doesn't really help, but I have two big windows here and I'm looking right now across the water it's, and that's Palm Beach right there. So that is why I chose um, to focus on Melania Trump and Jackie Kennedy Onassis, both women, first ladies, um, both have ties to Palm Beach, Jackie vacationed here, and of course, Melania um, has a residence here with her husband. Um, and, and, and just so you know, just because this is about first lady style, um, we're not talking about politics here. <laughs> um, although, oh my gosh, do I have a story for you guys? I have so many stories, but first, um, let me get my act together here. I have, um, if you go a little bit further on, um, through the product carousel, you'll see like these beautiful cubic zirconium, um, princess cut four prong sterling silver plated, uh, stud earrings. And they are an exact product match to the real diamonds that Melania wore on inauguration day. I mean, hers were real <laughs> and they were gigantic. But um, I found a smaller version because when I go when I go cubic zirconium, I always go smaller because then it looks more realistic. Okay, California bigger, um, bigger just as sun living middle of the big val. Oh, cool! Are you in tech or something? I don't know, or is that like a bad assumption? I uh, I I love. I've been to San Francisco a couple of times and driven up to uh, Petaluma, which is Sonoma, because I have a retired show jumper. Uh, well, she was a hunter, hunter jumper. I used to, I'm, I'm an equestrian and she have, has a second job now. She's retired. I don't show her anymore. Um, her name is Daisy and she lives in Petaluma. She's a broodmare now. She's had about, she's had like three foals. Um, so yeah, it's good to always, you know, come here for fashion. Um, but also if you want to talk horses, we could do that. No, I'm kidding. Um, okay, let's see here. Um, all right, let's just jump right in. So first of all, use the chat. I always like to tell people, Amazon Live, it's a literal, it's literal definition. We're on Amazon and this is live. This is not pre-recorded, obviously. <laughs> um, just below Fresno, California. What's up, Fresno, California? Oh, cool. I was rooting for, um, I, I rooted for San Francisco for the uh, Super Bowl. I just think that they're like a classier team and I like their colors better. But, um, hey, hello, hello, hello. Um, and Walter, if you don't follow me, if you do, I'll see it right now live. Um, but yeah, please use, please, um, I, I'm thinking of doing a live about, uh, to for, for menswear, actually. Um, but I'm always here uh, to help my guys. I get, a, I actually have a couple of guys that have, a lot of men come on, come onto my lives and they're like, hey, I love that Levantine vegan leather handbag. Great bag, also all over my storefront. Go to the live shopping ideas list, they're there, great gifts. My girlfriend likes the color red. 
but I'm thinking I may want to get her like the small pink one. What do you think about that? So I'm happy to, those are great questions to ask me in the chat. Also like, okay, Amazon live, right? This beautiful classic sheath dress by Allegra K. Allegra K, what, you know, big brand. You guys have seen this brand on Amazon. If you are an Amazon fashion, um, uh, and of Amazon fa fashion aficionado, <laughs> or in my case, Amazon. I, I actually, I don't like to use the word expert, but whatever. I mean, I I think I know, I know Amazon fashion like the back of my hand. Actually, better than the back of my hand. Um, do do do. So what was I gonna say? Uh, something about men's fashion, but okay, we'll just jump right in. Um, oh, so yeah, if you want to know how tall I am. Or how much I weigh, that kind of thing. If you're interested in buying a sheath dress, I don't know if guys wear sheath dresses in California. Well, probably. <laughs> Whatever. Um, man should shop more for their left. Oh my God, Walter. Yes, you are awesome. Definitely. Um, if you do need any recommendations for beauty, handbags, gifts, anything like that, also menswear, I'm your girl. So use a chat box. I am I am an Amazon specialist in all things um, from luxury stores to you know the lowest uh, price points that you could get. I know it all. So give me a budget. Give me an occasion. I got you. I mean, look what how quickly I gave you the rain boots. I know my stuff. So hey Wendy, Amazon yeah, affectionado. Um, Wendy, I actually so what I've been doing to promote my Amazon lives. Uh, you know, on Amazon, but then also, you know, I'm an actress, so very, very searchable. I'm Haley Feldman, so I have other platforms that I, you know, promote my shopping and also my acting stuff. Um, and I created a video, like a short clip video of our last live. And Wendy, I, I mentioned you a couple times again. <laughs> so definitely, like, I don't know. Anyway, I can't, I'm not allowed to talk about anything but Amazon, but yeah, so Wendy, so happy you're here. I have so many great things for you, and I have some low heel stuff. I even have these boots that are made for walking. Literally, they're made for walking. Um, yeah, well, you're so sweet. Love. Okay, so, um, what, <laughs> this could make you laugh, Wendy. So, typically me, this was supposed to be the last part of the three-part First Lady series, and then it got so huge, I was thinking, oh my gosh, it's going to be another epic live. And I start, I really do like lose my voice the next day if I go past, and you know, after an hour and a half, I'm like, right, hence the water bottle. <laughs> um, so I'm doing, it's First Lady style, it's First Lady inspired. But Wednesday, this Wednesday at 3.30 Eastern Standard Time for my Walters. That are in California, not Pacific, Eastern, 3.30. I'm doing a, I'm just gonna do, like, I, well, as of now, I'm just doing one look. And it's this beautiful spaghetti strap, like you know, one little strap dress that both Melania and Jackie, I have photos of both of them, wearing a very, very similar dress. It's gonna be lovely. And then Thursday, we're fun. <laughs> So that'll be the end. So now, so what the three part, it was originally a two part series, then it was a three part, and now it's a four ish part. And then on Thursday, we're going to do a new style color trend. Because, of course, I not only know Amazon like the back of my hand, but I'm also, um, I write a style blog, I know fashion, I know, I, I, I'm not somebody who dresses for the trends, but I know what's in style. So if there's a trend that I like, that is my style, I'm gonna show it to you. And on Thursday, same time, 3.30 p.m. Eastern Standard, I'm gonna tell, I'm gonna show you some really, really cute outfits, both um, relaxed, casual stuff, like a cute two-piece set, um, as well as a gorgeous whole set that I got on Amazon The Drop. It's pink. Pink is in for, for spring, uh, summer 2024. So we are doing that on Thursday. Those are the two upcoming scheduled lives. <sighs> okay, today I just got an order confirmation. Ha! <laughs> um, yes, I remember you said, oh, my lady loves it. Good, yay, good, good, that's so great. Yes, good. 
Um, yeah, you look, you either like my style or you don't. Um, you either like my humor or you don't. Uh, there's really no gray area with me and whatever. So it is what it is. You can't be for everyone, right? Um, <laughs> not even first ladies. Except for like Jackie. I mean, who doesn't love Jackie? I've never heard anyone be like, oh, that Jackie. What terrible style. No, she's iconic. <laughs> so speaking of, this is a sheath dress that I'm wearing. It's nothing that you haven't seen before. It's something that you have started, you started to see the sheath dress. I did all this research because I'm like super obsessed with fashion and fashion history. The sheath dress started to get, started to come into fashion a little bit in the 40s, but then Dior, the designer Dior, created the first sheath dress in the 1950s. It was a very, it was a different style. It was, it was fitted here at the waist, still, still roomy, but it did flare out. That's where you see the Marilyn Monroe sheath dress that Marilyn Monroe made those very, very popular in the fifties. Um, I'm looking at, I want to, they, they had a name for it. Oh, so Dior called it the new look dress. And it was because Times were a changing. Um, love it, lady is too. Uh, love it, lady is thin, and to five eleven. Oh, oh, oh! Your 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 lady is is thin and five eleven. Um, if so, okay. Then whatever size that she regularly wears, she'll be able to wear. Like this is an extra small in the color black. Um, when I first tried it on. It was a little bit big, and then I put on, like I always say, buy the right undergarments, put on a, you know, a bra, <laughs> and I just put it in the dryer for a little bit, and now it's perfect. A sheath dress is not supposed to be bodycon. It's, that's why first ladies have made it iconic. So Dior, in the, four, like, in the 50s, called it the new look dress. Things were changing. Women were working. This is post-World War II. Women were working, they were more active, they weren't just sitting at home knitting and cooking, right? Um, so this dress was originally designed for walking, for movement, right? To fit the new modern lady. And then in the 60s, Dior rebranded it and changed the style. Um, so, and this is where Jackie O comes in. So it went from the new look dress, which makes sense, because it was very, very different, something that they had never really seen in the 50s, to call, to, then they call it the vertical line dress. And that's where, and so what he, what Dior did, it used to be more of a flared out here. He made it, or they made it straighter. Still not, still not bodycon, but straighter. Sexier, a little bit more form fitting, you know, at the, a little bit at the hips here. Um, so yes, and that's where you see Jackie O. Jackie O, like Walter, your lady. Jackie O was very thin, very, very thin. And you've seen her in a million different sheath dresses. She made them very, very popular here in the United States. Um, and then again, like why? So, and then Jackie O kind of, and then, and then like the final rebranding of the name sheath dress was called like the column dress. Column where it was, and that was more 60s, like later 60s kind of, we're just straight. I like I like this style. I love this neckline. Actually, if you see, so do you see the um, do 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 do? Hold on. So fit it up. Okay. So see how it end, it ends up. I'm wearing high high above the knee um, boots right now, and and they're in black, so it's hard to see. But here, let me just do this. See how it ends at my knee. I'm five foot three, so. If she's 5'11", it'll, it will, I mean, check the product page, the sizing is there, but it'll probably hit her knee appropriately. Um, so yeah, but I'm 5'3", so things are a little bit short, uh, I wish shorter, longer. Um, so when the, when Dior redid it in the 60s, called it the vertical line dress, it, just like this dress, it hit right at the knee. So not below the knee, because below the knee is more of, when we think of below the knee, we think of more evening, like a, a cocktail dress, right? Um, but right at the knee, above the knee is, is mini, 
Athene, sometimes they call it midi. It's just Athene. I, I like dresses. I don't care whatever, you know, sheath dress, A-line, bodycon, whatever. I like a dress that goes to my knee. Because when you're sitting down, you're crossing your legs, the dress isn't going to ride up to here. Um, I am, well, I, you know, I, there's not much time left, but I, I'm still 33. But time's a ticking. My birthday's March 15th. Oh, um, I love your styling shows. Yeah, she only lets me say beanpole. She will look good in this dress. So this is a great, great, first of all, this dress is great for, well, I never like to say all body types because that, that's like saying one size fits all. And that's kind of, when, when you, that gets, that's a dicey area to, to, to play around with. <laughs> um, but this silhouette will be stunning. She obviously has long legs and she's thin. She'll look great in this. Fabulous. And look at this price point. I mean, it's great. But, you know, Walter, if you're thinking of getting her this dress, hang on a bit because I always tell my guys, don't just buy one item, especially at this price point. I mean, look, I also don't like to talk about budgets. I am on my, I call it my poor actress budget. <laughs> so everybody's budget and, um, and like what I think is something that is reasonable, maybe totally unattainable for some people. What I think is reasonable, maybe completely, um, you know, like the cheapest thing that they have ever seen in their lives. I don't know. I mean, again, Palm Beach is here, right? But for me in this price point, just wait. And you could, you could, you could take a look at the product carousel. I mean, stay with me here. I'm going to get through it, but I have these gorgeous thought oh, above the knee shoes, a coat, um, sunglasses and two different options for shoes. So I always like to tell my men, try to get like, shoes and a dress or or earrings and a purse i it's it's all about the unwrapping it's all about the gifting experience right again also when you walk into a room wearing a sheath dress what does it say about you well i i googled it and got some actually very very interesting things about what a sheath dress says about you but i think that Knowing that first ladies wear sheath dresses, not just Jackie O. Michelle Obama wears wore, wore tons of sheath dresses. Um, who else? Uh, it was Jackie, Michelle. Oh, and Melania, duh. <laughs> Always in sheath dresses. So what does that communicate? Well, if a first lady is wearing a certain style of a dress, that tells me that it is some a dress that has a silhouette that has a timeless appeal, that is um, formal enough, but relatable enough, right? It's not, you know, it's not Nancy Reagan ball gown. Like, <laughs> um, but it's, it's great for multi-occasions, for work, for going to, you know, shake hands at the children's hospital like these first ladies do. Um, but what do first ladies like to try to convey? Sophistication, uh, formality, uh, presence, right? Um, they come in, they want to look refined. Um, they want to, I don't know, um, sophisticated, elegant, I'm trying to like uh, dignified, right? Okay. So the role of first lady is a very dignified role. So if you want first lady style, there is no better dress to choose than a sheath. It is the ultimate first lady dress. So if you are going on a date, if you're going on a trip, if you're traveling, by the way, this dress would travel so well. Um, fold it up in tissue paper, easy peasy, one, two, three, hang it up, done. Um, think about, I'm an actress, so I'm like, think about playing the role of first lady. How would you act? What would you wear? Wear this. It's great. Um, okay, so business, night out. Cocktail party. I mean, this is a very versatile piece. Do, do, do. I'm looking at some show notes right behind. So if my eye goes off, it's it's just because I'm, you know, I have I can memorize a lot of lines, but we got a lot of products to get through. Um, okay, so do, 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 do. Timeless Appeal, an enduring classic. It is glamorous, but understated. 
That's my style. I like to be understated, elegant, and feminine. I like classic pieces. I like sophisticated pieces, and I don't care if you're 20 years old, and I don't care if you're 64 years old. It is, it transcends, it transcends time, and it transcends, it, it does not discriminate against age. Anyone can look fabulous, sophisticated, chic, like a first lady wearing a sheath dress. So that's why I did like a little bit of a background for you guys. Um, now Jackie, I'm sorry, I'm just going to flip my little show notes here. Jackie would wear her, um, she would wear her sheath dresses, as you know, with like, she would wear a string of pearls here, right? Um, and her little gloves. That's definitely a look, but I love timeless classic pieces, but I love to give them a bit of an updated 2024 spin. Um, honestly, I would wear this. Actually, this would, I see a lot of women on Palm Beach, they wear, you know, the pearls and the, and it's beautiful, it's lovely. But for me, right, I like the Melania Trump little studs. Um, I'm showing you these with um, over the knee boots. There's a reason, but I have two other shoe options that look great, that are low heel, stiletto, can wear with anything. All right, let's talk about this dress a bit more here. Okay, so here, see the neckline? Look how pretty, you could see your collarbones here. Um, oops, did I skip ahead? Of course I did. Let me take my other hard copy of my show notes. Um, cla it's a classic neckline. So the vertical Dior, she the vertical line that Dior created, it was just, it was in this exact neckline. Told you, I'm like an expert on finding just right product matches. <laughs> um, this is not a Dior dress, it's a Legger K, um, but it literally has the exact same neckline. The neckline is called a boat neck. I love it. See how you could kind of pull it, pull it over here? Now, there's a difference. Let me actually put my hair back for a second. I had a hair, I know I have a hair, oh, pull my hair back. Oh, these, all my hair ties and everything. I just got a huge shipment from Helium's hair ties. So we're gonna show you all these like amazing clips. In a little, not today, but later on. All right, so off the shoulder would be here. This is, if you want to just have a little bit, just a tiny bit of, it's, it's, it's a it's very understated, alluring, sexy, very, very, very elegant, very, very, very chic, right? It's not a plunge line. It's not off the shoulder. You're not showing too much, right? So it's just got, it's got enough little bit of coverage that makes, that adds a little bit of mystery, which is what you want to have, right? Which also makes it appropriate for a work occasion, also for a date. I love this boat neck here. It's stunning, really, really stunning. Also, it has a concealed side zip, so there's no zip in the back. It really, this design is, is really spot on to how Dior originally created his vertical line in the 60s. Um, thank you, oh, thanks so much, John. That's very, very kind. Thank you, Susan, classy, sexy. That's always a look I'm going through to, for, always. Classic, sexy, elongating, um, not being too much, and timeless, elegant, all those things. Hey, Eric, how are you? Nice to meet you. Um, I don't know if you're new here, but if you're new here, this is um, My Chic Style Live. I'm Haley Felbin, and I'm in my bedroom right now. My dogs are snoring over there. We're talking about fashion inspired by first ladies. First ladies, it's like kind of a fusion of, of iconic first lady looks. This is a sheath dress. Um, if you don't follow me and you do start following me, following me during the live, I see it. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Um, I will see the follow and that always gives me energy, you guys, right? Cause I oh, always so low energy anyway. All right. Um, ba, 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 ba. so size extra small, take your regular size. It fits perfectly. I'm an extra small. It's good. Um, it's machine wash. My ladies, I know you all love it. Machine wash especially if you're spending a day in this dress, say you're traveling, this is a great dress to travel in. Um, maybe you're going, oh my gosh, this would be a great sightseeing. If you're going traveling in Europe or, well, 
well, that would, if you're traveling Europe, like, whoa, I, I want to come. Um, my sister has cats that snow. That's so funny. I love cats, but my Cavaliers are not good with cats. Uh, that's, I've never heard a cat that snores. That's so funny. Um, okay, you have your classic neckline. Um, take your regular size. It's so elegant. It's a nice straight line. It's not super fitted, but it's just fitted enough, right? I have a couple of guys on here, on the chat right now. And, and tell me if I'm wrong, but um, Eric, let me answer, let me, I'll tell you one second. Guys, on the chat, I have a couple of you. I have Walter, I have Eric, I think John is here. So, when you see a girl wearing a dress, it, even if it's not super fitted, it's still, you're still gonna look at her, right? It, you don't, ladies don't have to wear something that's so, 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 so tight for a guy to be like, oh wow, I wanna go talk to her. Yeah? Yes, okay, very soft, sound, great, totally. So women, we don't have to reveal everything. You know, keep a little bit of mystery about you. Good, yeah, see, all right, point proven. Right? Like, if the guys say yes, and look, like, you got, if I'm wrong, you're not going to hurt my feelings. Hey, Jennifer, how are you? Um, oh, the dresses, the sizing. Oh, by the way, Eric, I live in West Palm Beach, Florida. To answer your question, told you I'd get back there. Um, Jennifer, the sizing. Do I have, oh, gosh, I have, in, in my other notes, I do have some sizes. Click the product page. It, it goes, it goes in a couple, it has a couple of different sizes. Um, I think, okay, if my memory serves me right, I think it goes up to an extra large. But just click, don't click out of the live because I would miss you so much. But, oh, go, Wendy goes up to 3XL? Oh my gosh, I love that. So this is a dress for, for, all, for all. I love that. Um, however, okay, this is, look, I'm not trying to, I don't like salesy. There's nothing worse than when you walk into when you walk into a store and somebody's like, "How can I help you? How can I help you? How can I help you?" Da, 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 da. I'm like, "Oh my gosh, I'm just browsing. Leave me alone." I don't like to be salesy, but I have to tell you something for real. This is a true story, and trust me, I'm an actress. <laughs> Does this dress look familiar to you? Well, it should, because it's this dress in white. The other day, I was beginning to type my show notes. I had already bought this dress by Allegra K. I was going to show this, the sheath dress in white. A couple days later, after I purchased it, I go to type up my show notes, and I click on the product page. This dress, same, same dress, but in white sold out in every size except for the size small. I almost had a heart attack. I believe it was Friday. And I'm thinking, oh my gosh, what am I gonna do? Because if, I, if I'm showing a dress that's sold out, I mean, why, why bother? It's like, like, oh well, like set a notification for when it, no. I was so lucky that this dress came in black and it's available, I believe, in all sizes the last time I checked, but my size extra small. But this is why we're not looking at white, the white one today. So here's my little sales point. If you like it, add it to cart and check out immediately. This is white and black are typically colors, whether you're buying uh Towels, bedding, dresses, or shoes, it doesn't matter. White and black are usually always in stock. The fact that the white is sold out and as of, I mean, look, maybe, maybe it updated me, who knows. But as of, like, or, you know, a couple hours ago, I also I double checked. It was only available in size small. If you like this dress, buy it in black. They, it comes in other colors. I really like it in black and buy it ASAP because if it's sold out in white, it's going to get sold out in black. Don't, don't, don't miss out. This is such a great staple piece. It's machine wash 
it, it's not going to kill your budget really I mean whatever for me I'm like oh I'll just like eat ramen noodles for you know three nights and then I could buy the dress right fashion <laughs> I always say if you want pain go to the beauty beauty influencers <laughs> we don't talk about it all right I'm getting some comments which I love thanks Wendy thank you gotta go oh chat later thanks so much follow and we'll I'll see you on Wednesday 3 30 Eastern Standard um okay so yeah guys take your regular size this is the most if you want a first lady look this is it this is the ultimate first lady dress the sheath it's gorgeous wear it anywhere and look when you're wearing a when you're wearing a sheath dress you're going to be communicating a couple of things strength leadership right um while being graceful minimalist and feminine hello first lady that's what their job is. That's what they do. So make sure, look, first ladies are iconic. Some of them, the ones that we're talking about, are iconic in their fashion choices. So take from them. Oh, hey, Ruth. Nice to see you, Ruth. Ruth just started following me. Yay! I always say I'm either doing something terribly wrong or somewhat right. So thank you so much for following. Um, all these products, and um, uh, if you you just started following me, so um, perhaps you haven't seen my lives, my previous lives. Um, every single product that I've ever shown is available to take a look at on my Amazon storefront. The very, very top, pinned to the top of the, of the storefront, Haley Feldman, is an ideas list, and it's called Live Shopping. So Ruth, welcome. Thanks so much for the follow. Like, love it. So exciting, yay! Um, yeah, so everything that you see right now is available to take a look at, um, but everything that you might have missed is also there. And I've been trying to add notes um, about each product because I know that's that's helpful, but sometimes I get too lengthy and it, ha it cuts me off at like, you know, 12,000 words or something, and then that's very hard for me. <laughs> kidding. Um, so look, get it immediately if it's sold out in white, it's going to be sold out in black, and I love it. Allegra K is great. I'm going to show you. Um, okay. So at last minute, I changed the product carousel around. So where do I have this? Um, where do I have my... My dogs are obviously snoring. Okay. All right. I have, I have my show notes organized the way that the product carousel goes. But of course, um, I wanted to change it up very, very last minute, like literally four minutes before I went live or closer. So, okay. Where did I? You know what? I, I don't really need, I don't even need, I don't even need my show notes. I, I could just, oopsies, I could just talk to you about it. Because I know it. All right, look, another one. Allegra K, extra small. Oh, it's, it's turned. My phone is flipped. So it's Allegra K, extra small. The color is white. Um, I showed this in, right? I know that's my dog Scarlet. I showed this uh, two lives ago or one live ago. And I want you guys to know, though the color is called white, it's got, it's got, it's more, for me, it's more of an ivory. So don't be fooled. There are white coats and then there's this. It's much prettier. It's a little bit softer. Um, I love a white, white coat. Actually, Jill Biden wears a lot of white, white coats. Stunning. Um, but this, to me, is a little bit better for us, you know, normal people. All right, I'm going to tuck this little dress in here. Um, do, 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 do. How, do, how can I do this here? I'm trying to... Um, okay. So here's the look that I've been dying to show you guys. You have a gorgeous face. Oh, thank you. Yeah, makeup helps. <laughs> and I, ex I exercise and um, I take care of my skin. I don't get in the sun. So yeah, I mean, thank you though. It's very, very sweet. Okay. First lady, OMG. So I love, love this jacket. Because, and I love it paired with the over-the-knee boots. Even though we're talking about 
first ladies, and we're talking about Jackie O, which is, I mean, her reign was from 1960 to 63. I mean, not reign. Gosh, that's that's so uh, Game of Thrones slash, you know, this is a democracy, not, <laughs> we don't have a king, right? That was like the whole reason why America started, right? Um, oh, uh, Carmela E started following you. Yay! Um, thank you so much. Hey, Carmela. I'm Haley Feldman. Welcome. Um, so look, I have this Allegra K gorgeous jacket, Jill, and Bi Jill Biden inspired, but also Melania wears tons of the, these beautiful white coats. And look at how I paired it with the above the knee gorgeous boots, which I'm so excited to show you. But this is the look. Now I'm going to get to the other products in a bit, but like my friend Walter, who was on earlier, I want to show you the whole look. And I'll do this again for you guys. I want to show you the whole look. That's it. That's the train. Isn't this nice? So, inspired by first ladies, but you got over the knee, and these are real suede boots. Beautiful coat, and then underneath you have your sheath dress. Fits true to size. Absolutely stunning. The fabric, the fabric is, it's it's not like a cashmere kind of situation. Um, I wouldn't call the fabric super comfortable, but again, it's not like you're wearing this as a dress. It's a, it's a, it's a coat, um, and it's nicely lined here. It's, it's a, so if you're, if you're somewhere that's like really, really cool, like, okay, New York right now, you could wear this, but make sure that you have you know, gloves, I, and I, I'll show you gloves. Make sure you have gloves and these tall boots on. Um, Cause it's not, it's, 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 if you're shopping for a spring coat as well, I'd say this is a great, great choice. It's a wonderful transitional piece. Um, and look at this. I mean, this is a stunning updated look. It is taking from the best, our first ladies, our iconic first ladies with amazing style and putting a little bit of a modern, you know, updated look, which I think this is, I don't know. I mean, as of right now, this is my favorite look of the whole, of the whole, uh, live. So, um, which is why I did a last minute move around with everything. Um, also these sunglasses, I'm going to talk to you about them later, but they are inspired by Melania Trump, who always was known for her major oversized sunglasses. Talk about mystery. Um, okay. Hey, Walter, you do, a uh, oh, I know I actually don't do a makeup show, but I just got a, oh, so exciting. I just got a new partnership with Jane Iredell, who is a cruelty free, all clean beauty. I, um, I stick, look, the beauty influencers, they like get up close and personal and do all that stuff. I can, I'm great at putting on my own makeup. I've look, I did enough. I did enough community theater or like you had to do your own hair and makeup. <laughs> like, um, you know, they, they weren't, was community theater uh, or just local theater with low budget stuff and you know there's no one to do your hair and makeup but you so uh, yeah I, I could put on makeup but I just have a new partnership with Jane Iredell also I added some of those products to my live shopping ideas list on my storefront unbelievable I'm so excited to show you but I'm not Walter it's a good idea I should do something like that but what I'm concerned because I'm so new with Amazon live. Um, I just, I don't want to get like, I don't want to confuse people. I want people to know that when they come here, I'm going to give them a head to toe style look. They're going to come out of my live with products checked out and bought in the right size in the right color with a whole head to toe look from sunglasses to earrings to a jacket dress uh, underneath. <laughs> handbag and shoes, here's your look. And why do I do that? Some, some other influencers would be like, just showing a handbag. For me, and, and I, I, I shop that way sometimes, like I see something and I'm like, oh my gosh, that's gorgeous, I love it. But then you run into an issue. You run into an issue where you say, okay, I love this item, but how, what am I gonna wear it with? And that's where you get the Every single woman that's ever lived has stood in her closet, sta right, staring in her closet. I have nothing to wear, yet we have 
so much stuff. So when you come here, you're gonna get a head to toe styled outfit. Now, you could always just get, if you already have a coat for, for spring or you already have this a beautiful whatever you don't want, fine. Then you have the dress, the wristlet, sunglasses. Maybe you're not somewhere that, maybe you already have black sunglasses. Fine, but you need earrings for travel. I always say, like, I'm a stylist. I'm here to style you. If you like it, I like to come out with an outfit. Instead of just getting one piece, you buy an outfit. Yeah, you're spending more. Okay, but at least now, you know, all right, I have, I'm gonna wear, I have a whole ensemble. So it takes the whole, like, the whole, here I am standing in front of my closet, which happens to me all the time. Oh, I just wore that dress last week, da 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 da, -da. like, oh, I'm so sick of that one. I have a million things in my closet. I like, now I'm like, uh, I really try to, to, Scarlett, my gosh, she's really snorting today. I really try to emphasize buying an outfit. Um, so super classy, love the cream. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Really, yeah, I'm glad you like it. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm gonna try to incorporate some makeup, but I'm never gonna, I'm never gonna like sit here with like a facial brush and be like, look at the difference between like half of my face and then half, because I'm not a beauty, I'm not an expert in that. I could put my face together. I've been working on the same canvas for 33 years now. I could figure it out. But my expertise is in fashion, so I'm going to stick with that. Um, all righty. Let's see. However, I have some great, great things. Um, like this is... You know, I better not show it because it's not on the product carousel. We're not supposed to do that. But this is like up and this is the Jane Iredell stuff. It's just lovely and all clean beauty, which I love. I'm really trying to get to. I'm really trying to get all of my, at least cosmetics to be cruelty free, right? Um, except for like one brand that I just like cannot live without. I just love their lipsticks. Um, what am I? Oh, I'm showing you the boots next. Okay. Does anybody have any questions about this? jacket. It's really, really great. Oh, it comes in a couple of different um, colors. It comes in beige, comes in black. Also, Wendy, if you want to go the whole monochromatic, get this in black. Um, comes in... Oh, my, my, oh, okay, wait. Just kidding. That was the crop shrug. That's the wrong product. It does, does not come in beige. Comes in... <laughs> well, actually, hopefully, maybe it does. Whatever. You guys, look. I already know. Either go black with this coat or go with the white. Those are the two ones that I would pick. Actually, those, let me let me make sure that those are in my. Yep. Look, Jill Biden inspired white jacket, single breasted. Okay. You have one button. One, two, three, four, four. Double breasted is when you get one. Do 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 do. Right. And look, three little gorgeous. There are no pocket. Oh wait. Oh, I did this in my last line live. You got a pocket here. Love that. Love the pocket. So great. Um, uh, okay, here are the colors. Black, brown, light gray, red and white. Choose black. Take your regular size. It's an extra small. That's my size. I'm 5'3", 100 pounds. Perfect. Um, it's machine wash. Love it, love it, love it. Great to travel with. Um, uh, single breasted, long sleeve, solid color. And I told you about the fabric. It's a breathable fabric. It's not hot. It's not, um, it's not like a trench. It's not super spring kind of raincoaty light. Um, I think it's a perfect transitional piece as we start to move in, to move out of winter. Hallelujah. Um, and into spring, this is a great, great jacket. Um, but yeah, I mean, look, the, the, the black, you know what, if you're looking for a spring jacket, go with the black, the, the white, and I don't, look, I, I really don't believe in this. Some people say, oh, winter white. This is, no, I wear white year round. <laughs> I'm not, I don't, I don't do that. Um, that. That's, I think that's ridiculous. I think it's a marketing strategy for um, retailers to sell you more stuff. But um, if you're looking for more of a spring coat, I mean, look, get it. Actually, I love it in white um, too for spring. But yeah, black is great too. Um, wonderful, okay. Um, love the jacket, shows the narrow 
hips. Yeah, but you know, look, if you're wearing some, if you're, say you're wearing a sweater dress, right? You wanna buy this jacket, cause it, look, it, this, is a, this is a beautiful, beautiful piece, but it's not, this is something to wear, you know, to a work event, um, on a date, um, but if you're like going for a walk with your dog in the snow, you probably would wanna get something a little bit warmer or layer up, okay? Uh, color, yeah, you like all the colors? I, 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 like, I like black and white, and look, it has a nice lining. It's great, and it's collarless. So without, without the collar, then you could do, then you could take your scarf, which I'm gonna show you the scarf in a second, right? And then you could accessorize with what you already have, right? Then you could do this, right? So if you wanna do something a little bit warmer, Without the collar, then you then you got more options now. Not styling it well, but okay, you guys get it. See, Sue, so, or if you have like a you know whatever kind of warm warm uh, neck thing, perfect. So, actually, all right. Um, does anybody have any questions about this? Also, if you're just joining in, hi, I'm Haley Feldman. Welcome to my chic style live. Doing a time check. Oh my gosh, it's already been an hour. I'm trying to try to do it. Um, yeah, late night dinner. This is like, you walk in with this dress. I, sorry, you walk in with this coat and then you come out with this dress. People are gonna be like, who is she? Oh my gosh. Is that a first lady or what? Um, it's timeless, it's chic, and I wish I had another hanger for it. I do, over here. Um, I knew, I had a, so funny, I like, I saw a hanger out on my little product display here. I was like, what is that extra hanger doing? Well, now I know why it's to hang up the coat. I was like, oh, clutter, yuck. Oh, hey, Eric, Eric started following me. It's super cozy, it's a state, it's, it, it's, a, is it a statement piece? Uh, yeah, I guess so, yeah. It's just, it's, it's first lady stunning, gorgeous, lovely. Okay, so, cool. Now, if you want me to go back, I'm gonna get through the live, and then if you want me to go back, I can. All right, let's take a look at these boots. These are amazing. This is one of my favorite Amazon finds of the week, maybe the month. I don't own any over-the-knee boots because they tend to be super expensive. And um, like, oh, oh, for me, it looks like there's some sort of discount going on. These are 100% suede. They are warm, warm. Very, 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 very warm. Um, you got a three-inch three, three inch heel but you have a lot of room to stand on, and I'll show you them in a second. It's a super, super great material. It's light with a side zip here. It's really easy on and off, and you got room. So for me, I'm super athletic. Um, I, I run on the treadmill, so my legs aren't, like Walter's girlfriend, um, she's like super tall, thin. I have a more athletic build, so typically with me, I like a more like wider calf option. There is an option, I'm gonna tell you about it in a second. These do come in a wide calf, if you're like that, more athletic. But even if you are more of an athletic build, get the ones that I have, which is the black Nubuck, Nubuck. Um, and this is a three and a half inch heel, but it's a bit of a blocky heel. So I really, I feel extremely stable in that, even though it's three and a half inches. I would, I have enough room here that you could even, I would, I would pull these over jeans. Gorgeous, what a look. Um, because with the suede, the suede gives you, see it's stretchier, it's a little bit more elastic here. The suede you could get, you could pull over easily. Um, when you get to like a real leather, or like a, or even um, a, this, these do come in, um, the, the faux leather, the PU, the, the polyurethane, whatever it's called, they do come in a vegan leather. But those are harder. Those are gonna be, those are gonna be a soft, they're not gonna be a softer fabric, like the suede. Um, and they're gonna be harder to get up. So I, I, I love a suede. I usually don't, I usually don't like to buy suede because one puddle and you're in a, in, you know, in a, in a tough, tough spot, right? Um, but like, and I never buy over the knee boots because I simply just like cannot afford them. But these are perfect, like multi-use all the time. Um, so the other colors that they come in, um, they come in like a pink, a black, but it's a, like a vegan leather, black PU. Um, no, they don't come in pink. 
Those are di- that must be a different. <gasps> Ooh, I'm talking about a totally different shoe, guys. I'm talking about the shoe on the next product carousel. Hold on, because <laughs> I reordered. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Um, <laughs> okay, those are the next one of the three inch heels. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm. Look, I mean, this is this is a live show, um, so you're gonna get live things happening. Nothing's gonna be perfect. Um, I got four to hit follow button. Oh, thanks, Eric. You're the best. Um, Lynn has athletic max. Okay, yeah. So just get you get this hard to hard for the boots to stay up on her thin legs. Okay, well then maybe then the um, the vegan leather the that could be an option. All right, where is Please hold. Thank you for your patience. Your hold time is 34 seconds. Just kidding. I'll get to it. Okay, so these are stretch over the knee suede boots. I knew I shouldn't have moved the product carousel around last minute. I knew it was going to trip me up, but whatever. Hello, live. Hashtag live. Okay, you have tons of choices for color in these shoes. Let me step back so you can see. And look up. So I'm 5'3", they come really, really high up. But if you are not 5'3", they're probably going to be like truly over the knee. But for me, like I can even pull them down a little bit. It's kind of fun. Um, fabulous, keeps you nice and warm. Um, so they come in a lot of different colors and they have a ton of different heel variations. This is in black. I think it's the first one. The, fir the first color option on the product page is called black. And that's what I'm showing you. Meaning, um, so, but also in the black suede, they have three other options. And this is where I need my notes. So mine are 3.5 inch heels. Got it? Three and a half inch heels. Which is crazy because like, I really don't even believe it, but they are. Like, whoa. When I'm in three and a half inch heel stilettos, like, like something like this, it's a totally different feel. Um, these are very stable, um, beautiful point toe, elongating, elongating. Every single woman wants elongating. I don't care if you're Walter's girlfriend who's 5'7". We all want to look thin and tall. Hello. Um, so you got your point toe, elongating, gorgeous. Black is the most slimming color. I don't care what anybody has to say. Black is more slimming. Um, so that comes in, if you want a little bit of a, of a heel, obviously if you want more height, the higher you go, it's going to give you more of an illusion of being taller, right? Okay, that's obvious. But in this suede, with this exact same style, with the same pointed toe and the same heel, it has, it comes in 2.7 inches, 2.4 inches, and 2 inches. Everyone got that? <laughs> um, love live good. Yeah, I know. It's fun, right? Whatever. We have fun here. Um, so there's a stiletto option in the three and a half inch. Gorgeous. But I didn't show it to you guys. I would have, usually I would have gone with the stiletto. But I listen to my viewers, especially the ones like Wendy who comes back um, a lot. And they want... They, they don't, they're not, they're, they're not as interested in a stiletto heel, even though that's something that I'm obsessed with. Um, so I chose this blockier heel, but it does have a stiletto version. Um, and then of course, if you are, if you want a wide leg option, guess what? 2.4 inch heel. So you've got about one inch below what I'm wearing and it comes in a wider option. So if you want more room, or if you're if you have like more of an athletic build like me, there's an option for you. Check. I think it's the last one on the on the options. If you look at the product pages, there's a couple lot of options. Um, I wouldn't go with any other color but black. I don't have any tall boots that aren't black. Tall boots are not cheap, um, and I think that black is the most timeless, classical and vers classic and versatile one. Um, I had a pair of of like really 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 dark brown boots but honest but the black I wear far more I don't even have those I must have sold them and given them away um okay cool 
I have exact measurements, like sh like shaft length and stuff like that. But if you guys aren't interested, it's all on the product page. Um, she goes flat. Okay, yeah, I have some flats. I'm going to show on Wednesday and Thursday. I got gotcha. you. Um, also, lots of flat options in the live shopping ideas list on my storefront. Take a look. Um, okay, so they say it's supposed to fit most calves. But again, that's like... Most calves is like one size fits all. Just look at the measurements. Um, okay. Cool. So, yeah. Cool. Love it. I I cannot believe I'm showing you guys the non-stiletto. I like this. When I found these, I, I it really really blew my mind. I mean, we all we've all seen that hashtag. Hashtag Amazon finds, right? Well, it, it's there for a reason. Um, and here, let me, pulling these off here so you could see. Pretty easy. Nice, right? So you got a concealed side zip. They do have options with like a back zip. I, whatever. Nice suede. And it's real suede. Got a lot to stand on here. You've got more room. I'll show you. This is another thing I like to... I like to point out. So, with a chunkier heel, like this, versus the stiletto heel, like this, you have more ground to stand on, therefore, you're more secure, right? This is, this. the less ground that you have to stand on, it's harder to stand, right? So you got, look at this, this, so there's, this is a different stiletto, and this is a block. I really find these to be comfortable, although, with me, I'm I'm not. I could literally run in heels, and like the higher heel, the better. Um, I'm not afraid of heights. I ride horses, um, <laughs> and anything to be more elongating, whatever. Um, so, oh my goodness, and it wouldn't be a Haley Feldman live if I almost don't just trip all over myself and fall everywhere. What a find! What a great find! I love love these. Great little point toe. Let me show you the difference here. It's a pointed round toe. This is more pointed, more elongating. This is pointed, but you got a little bit more of a roundness, which is, which is lovely. But I, I, I'm not a big fan of a round toe. Again, it's all about, it's all about the extra, right? Just like I was saying with the heel, you have more, it gives you more stability to have more of a, more to stand on, more, same with the point toe. The more pointed, the longer it makes your legs look because it's more material. Um, even a horse walking the street. Yeah, I mean, I, I would wear these to the barn. I mean, I wouldn't wear them on horseback because I have riding boots. Um, but yeah, really, really great. Also, um, you know, maybe you already have boots, your winter boots. Um, but look, it, it's going to be cold for, all, I, sorry, I hate to tell you guys, but we're still in February, so get them now. Um, also, if you, uh, if, you, if you do like something that I'm showing you, you guys see at the top, it says earns commissions. Let me tell you about that. So I only earn a commission if you click it directly from my live, add it to cart, and then buy it within like 70, like 24, 70 hours, something like that. Um, if you just heart it or save it for later and then leave Amazon and come back and buy it tomorrow, I don't, I don't get the credit. I don't get the commission. So fun fact, <laughs> but yeah, so look, I'm, I'm building up my lives and trying to make it here. So if you want to support me, add it to your cart and, um, save it, do it, do it that way. Instead of just like hearting it and saving it to your shopping, saving list for later. Add it to your cart. I mean, if you don't want to check out right away, but that that would help. Um, so thank you for your support. Um, it's just like a way of, it's it's about the link tracking, right? So um, they have to be in, in order for a commission to be qualified as a commission, it has to be directly attributed to a click from my live. So yeah, it is what it is. But look, when I start to get bigger, which I really hope. That happens. It would be fun because I love doing this. Obviously, 
obviously having fun, um, then whatever. But really right now, the, the biggest thing that, the number one thing that matters is um, you guys coming back, following, and um, you know, sharing with friends. If like Walter, if you have other, if you have guy friends, girlfriends that are interested in my style or have questions, it would be so helpful if you say, hey look, I was on Haley Feldman's um, Amazon Live today and she was she was great and you should follow her. That like that honestly is even better for me than you know buying these boots. So really, um, spread the word, start spreading the news. I don't want to leave Amazon Live today. Wanna be a part of it. I taught that song to my first graders. I used to be a New York City public school teacher when I was getting my master's at NYU. I taught in the New York City public schools for three years. I was a history teacher, um, but then I was able to teach for one year outside of my certification. I taught first grade. Yeah, and um, and it was it was really fun. Like I, I I thought, oh, first grade, like that's gonna be so babyish. Like, what am I gonna do? Like, teach them how to color. No, it was actually one of the most challenging but best years of my life. Um, so instead of like teaching them how to read via like, you know, hop on spot and the duck goes to the truck, uh, these like boring poems and they do the guided reading, I would, I would stay late with the big, what is it, the big white paper that they have, right, with the big, and I'd be on, the, on my classroom floor writing out the lyrics to songs and that's how I taught them how to read. So I was like, I am not doing these like weird fables. It's like, so, no, like I'm gonna teach them how to read and then we're gonna do songs. So we did like New York, New York. Uh, Katy Perry's Roar was popular that year. We did Roar, we did um, Three Little Birds, Bob Marley, like fun. And then when the parents would come to visit, like for a little, they would perform, it was great. Yeah, that was fun. Um, okay, so here's an alternative. If you're not going to do the boots, these stand boots and look pretty, pretty. You think that they're listening to me when I talk to my fashion? <laughs> um, if you're not gonna wear the boots, here's an alternative. Now, I, yeah, okay. So, Walter, this may be a good pick for uh, your girlfriend who uh, doesn't want as much of a lift. Uh, I even tell my friends, I know a lot of teachers too. Yeah, teaching teaching's tough. I mean, I was a three year burnout. Um, yeah, uh, do, 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 do. okay, I think these were, these were, remember I started talking about these heels in pink, so like the, the, I was talking about the boots and then I was like, oh, I also like them in pink. I'm like, wait, no, I would never buy pink suede over the knee boots, <laughs> like what, wrong product. Okay, here we go. So these are black, new, new buck. Um, it's like softer leather. It's a three inch heel, but it really doesn't feel three inch. Got your point toe elongating. Hello, elongating. Soft rubber sole material that gives you more traction. So if you are traveling, say you're walking through the airport, my dog Scarlett O'Hara Johansson gets very, very, very nervous on um, surfaces that are slippery. If you're like my dog Scarlett O'Hara, the, these have built-in rubber soles and this is like one of the things that they put on their product page is like a marketing point. So if you are walking on a slippery surface, they have added traction to help you stay stable. I don't know. Um, these shoes will help you stay, stay stable. It's, it's, it sounds like a commercial for, um, you know what? I'm going to make a joke, but it's probably not funny. But um, yeah. Also, you know, uh, by the way, Another thing, going back to commissions and like how I um, make money, etc. Let me think. Nothing that you see here. Yeah, I bought everything. Oh, nope. Okay, this is not a sponsored live. Nobody, Amazon has not paid me to be here right now. And none of the brands, nothing, not a leg or K, um, nothing that you're seeing here. Just like, wanna double check. Yeah. All bought by me. I bought all this. There are no gifted collaborations. Nobody gave me anything. 
Yeah, they're like a suede kind of thing. Hey, Rookie King. Yeah, they're great shoes. Um, so I just want to let you guys know that because sometimes I'll get, I mean, people will send me some, some uh, products to show in the lives uh, and, and like free, free products they'll send me, um, which I always tell you guys about. Well, I think I have to legally. <laughs> I mean, Federal Trade Commission. Uh, policies, but also I like to be transparent and whatever. Like, um, that's the whole point here. You gotta trust me, <laughs> right? Um, trust is everything because I'm telling you what to wear, telling you that these products are good. And if you don't trust me, then uh, I think my time on Amazon Live will be short lived, right? And speaking of first ladies. Well, not that she said it, but it was her husband. Nancy Reagan's husband said, trust but verify. Hashtag Cold War. <laughs> Good times. JK. So scary. Um, okay. Other, now they're on, and I'm trying to show you these. All right. And look, see? A totally different look. You see how just like that, now I have a different, totally different feel than the above the knee boots. Now you can see my athletic calves that I was telling you about. Um, so, look, in a different outfit. Cute. These are great. Even though they're three inches, I don't know why, maybe because they feel really, I, like, I, did I get the notes wrong? I, I mean, the likelihood of me getting the notes wrong is, is fairly high. Um, no, that's not true. But sometimes I do, like, get a little bit confused. Um, okay, do, 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 do. Let me see. Oh no, they're right here. Okay. Do, 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 do. Okay, I told you about, um, yeah, they're like a faux, I think they're a faux suede-ish. They, yeah, yes, they're the um, polyurethane, the PU, polyurethane, that means faux leather. Like this wristlet also is in faux leather. You know, I'm gonna take one shoe off. You know, forget it, how about this? Why don't we do it this way? Let me show you the outfit. I really need to get a better setup here. Here's your outfit. I love, can you guys see, I'm trying to show you the, do you see the side details? I'm gonna show them to you when I take the shoe off, but I wanted to show you them on because I was actually like blown away by how sexy, subtle sexy, this little aspect was. Usually when you see an ankle strap, it's an ankle strap and that's all you're gonna get. But here, see that extra little strappy thing here? To me, it's, it's, it's such a modern little spin on a shoe with an ankle strap. It's, uh, for me, that just screams sophisticated, sexy. I, I really love that design. I've never bought anything by this brand so I did a lot of research. Um, well, yeah, Walter, this, this could be for you, uh, for, for your girlfriend, um, or for you if you wear heels. I mean, a lot of guys do, whatever. It's 2024, baby. So, do, 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 do. Um, other colors that I like. Pink, black, PU, because mine are, mine are black, new buck in a three inch, which is, which is a faux, 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 faux suede-ish, which means if you step in a puddle, they're not real suede, so you're good. I love that. Um, so these shoes, oh my gosh, I'm talking about the shoes with my sunglasses on, like as, this is, this, like now I've lost my audience here. Um, good thing I have another hard copy of my notes. Okay. This is a great look. Point toe, elongating, and and look, if you are worried about a heel, you got an ankle strap which holds you in. So don't worry, you got, look. I'm gonna, oh, see, I'm tripping. Try, trying to, it's gonna hold you in. Take your regular size, I'm a six and a half. They fit perfectly. Um, do, do, okay, it's back here. So, here are the other colors. Comes in a lot of different options. I'm not gonna go through all the different options. I'm just gonna tell you the other ones that I would buy. Pink, the black PU, which is 
non-suede faux leather. They come in gold and rose gold. They're sparkly, they're pretty, lovely. Um, actually, I know off the top of my head, they're, off the top of my head, I remember, because I added up these, this this morning. They come in white and silver. I wasn't a big fan, although, again, I haven't seen, I've only seen this, I've only seen this shoe live in person. To, now, this is the first time I've purchased from this brand. Um, so perhaps they're beautiful, but just from the product pages, I like the colors I just told you. But again, always go with a classic black. It's versatile, it matches more things, okay? You got your button closure, see? And it's adjustable strap, so looser or tighter, whatever it is. Oh, thanks, thank you, Bradley. Oh, thanks, Bradley. Hey, Bradley, welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, I'm Haley Feldman, this is My Chic Style Live. We're talking about fashion inspired by first ladies. Iconic, gorgeous, timeless, chic, elegant. Uh, do, 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 do. Classic design. Oh, they're breathable. Great, great shoes for work. Because, because they're strappy, you got more breathing room versus the suede over the knee ones. It's not, not, it's not as breathable. So if you want, like, all, I already feel so much, so much, like, uh, so much less hot. So that makes sense. I mean, the suede over the knee boots are meant to make you more. <laughs> That's the point. Um, okay, cool. Uh, point toe. Also, just a quick thing about the brand, which I didn't know. They designed these to make, they, they say that um, the whole design was inspired to make you feel like you're walking on your favorite rug at home. I mean, A weird noise. Do you hear that noise? They're just not worn. You just gotta wear them in a bit. I actually have the most beautiful designer pair of heels ever, and um, they are so embarrassing to wear because they make the weirdest noise. It sounds it it. I don't want to say what it sounds like, but it sounds really really awkward, and I can't because they're just anyway. Um, so that's too bad. But, um, all right, so for my ladies, a lot of my ladies don't like to show their arms. Well, with a sheath dress, it's almost always gonna be, they once show the sheath dress with like a little bit of a sleeve. Sometimes they could, but this is sheath. This is, this is first lady sheath. So here's your option. Another Allegra K find. I actually reached out to them and I was like, hey, Hope that you tune in because I'm showing a bunch of your stuff and I would love to continue to show your stuff. Can you send me some stuff? <laughs> um, so you want to, if you are looking to cover your arms, here you go. It's open front so you're not distracting from your main act, which is your dress. And it's a nice little tweed. I picked tweed because first lady. Also, don't be deterred by the fact that it's tweed. Tweed, I know a lot of us think, oh, tweed, that's so old lady. Oh, tweed, that's so, like, old school. No, no, no. Tweed has been shown all over New York Fashion Week. Tweed is back, and specifically 1960s style. So I'm always so excited. My style is classic, timeless, chic, sophisticated, doesn't go out of fashion. I like to buy, I like to, I always say, pick pieces to build a wardrobe. Don't buy for the trends, buy for your body type and like buy smart investment pieces. Whether they're expensive or not, this is a versatile choice, right? It works. So if you wanna cover your arms, ladies, here's what you do. And it's nice, light, and breathable. It's, <sighs> gotta word this the right way, but I have to tell you, it's not lined. This jacket, remember I showed you the lining? I told you with this jacket. Remember I told you, this, so this is the same, this is, all three pieces are Allegra K. My gosh, I wish they paid me to sponsor this. In fact, I bought all these things myself. I need to like get pushy or something. <laughs> You're welcome. Um, no, but they're like a really big brand, big seller on Amazon, I would love to work with them. So remember when I showed you guys this, this jacket and I told you about the outer material and I said it's not like, it's not, this dress is, it's literally like 
it's it's borderline it the dress the sheath dress almost feels like something uh not like a gym material but soft enough to work out in or even sleep in this is so lovely this fabric is not it, it's not as lovely and comfortable as this but you got it's lined the jacket's lined so who cares right it's a this is outerwear it's a jacket if if this were a dress like i told you i would i may i would maybe say i i don't know if i could sit in that for an entire dinner unless it's just appetizers this does not have a lining and it's i think it's like 100 percent polyester which is why you're looking at the price point i mean um actually no it's not 100 percent um cotton poly acrylic spandex but it's something to cover your shoulders. That's a really, really cute look. I want you to know that because I don't want you buying something and being like, oh my gosh, even though it looks good, it doesn't feel good. I have a philosophy that I stick with. Fashion should never be painful. Fashion is meant to make you look and feel great. There is no point in buying anything that makes you uncomfortable. Is this comfortable? Is this beautiful? Yes, but I don't, if it had a lining, it would probably be much more expensive. Um, but again, take a look at the, what I just told you about the, you know, the blends here. If you're okay with this kind of blend, then this is a great find, a great find. Um, but that's the only thing and look, I don't, I'm not bashing this product. I actually really get aggravated with, you know, you know, those, those influencer videos, the, the girls are like, I don't really like this product. This one, nah, 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 nah. like, so why are you even showing it? Like, they're just trying to, what? Like pretend that they're like, say that they're honest. No, I'm not going to show you, show you anything ever that I don't already own or that I wouldn't wear out ever. But I just want to let you know that there's no lining. So check the look at the product page because it is really cute. It's totally in fashion, totally first lady, and it's a lovely way to just simply lightly give yourself a little cover while still showing off the beautiful dress, your main act. But take a look at the fabric and if you see the, what's in the fabric, if it's something that doesn't agree with you, then forget it. But guess what, I have another option. This beautiful shawl, which by the way, is on a limited time deal right now. Ha, oh, you're welcome. No, I wish I negotiated that for you, but I didn't. Um, all right, how do I have this here? This shawl you've seen before. I've had it for many years. This is another big brand, big seller on Amazon. They're like, if you type in to Amazon search, you type like women's scarves or women's shawls, like this is one of the first things that comes up. Um, which I, look, I like to find, I like to, like these shoes took me forever to find. And same with the over the knee boots. A, a lot of these things are not easy to find, but this brand is quite reputable and it's got, it's like, it's got like a lot of reviews and it also right now there's a limited time deal. This is the color ivory, boom. Actually, I wore this with an with a black dress before. I wore it. I, I wore it the other night. I wore it the other night with a black dress. I wore it, and I wore it on on Saturday night with a white dress. It's in the color ivory. It's got your little fringe. It could be a scarf, right? With the coat. I showed you earlier with the coat. Um, here's one thing. I always love to do this. So. Now that it's a little, it's a little bit chillier in Palm Beach. This is great to have. You just do, do it like that. This is lovely. Um, and then another little trick that I do. I learned this um, one of my first jobs besides like teaching pony camp when I was sixteen. Uh, my first job, I, I worked at a clothing store. <laughs> Duh. Um, and actually, I was a top seller. Surprise. And the owner of the store, Karen, who I love, um, she showed me how to style pashmina shawls like this. 
look, so you tie in the back, and then you have like this little cap kind of thing. Isn't that cool? See how that, like, now it's like a little shawl. Hold on, I didn't, I didn't do it as well. So you just tie it in the back here, and then you have like an off the shoulder kind of look. So look, it's versatile, you could play around with it. It's got, you've got a lot of options. Um, I, I, I like to do this thing if I'm wearing something that maybe is like a, um, like a strapless, but with this dress, don't take away from the boat line. So if you're gonna get this dress and the shawl, first lady look, I know, right? If you're gonna get this dress and the shawl, this is, you do it this way, right? Don't, again, there are certain features of every single item that are important. Like the sheath dress, it, right? You wouldn't, you wouldn't put a belt around this because it would take, it would no longer be a sheath dress, right? I mean, actually, I mean, you could do it. You could style, style it that way, but it would take away from the design. Um, I absolutely adore the boat neck. I think it's so classy and sophisticated, just like a hint of sexy without being too revealing. So don't cover that. This is a beautiful feature that you really wanna show off if you're purchasing this dress, which is the first product in the carousel. If you're just tuning in now, hi, I'm Haley Feldman, welcome. We're here in West Palm Beach, Florida. Oh my gosh, it was so gloomy this morning. I'm thinking, oh my gosh, the lighting's gonna be so bad. So I do this out of my bedroom. And I got a big giant globe lamp here. And then I have one little selfie light. And like, that's it. So um, if it's gloomy, I'm <laughs> And that's my dog Scarlet snorting at me. So yeah, a little great option. And remember, this is a perfect, perfect staple piece. I wear this year round. It's light, it's not cashmere. So it's not like super, super heavy. I also have a photo. Oh, Walter, this is, this is actually fun. This is for you, Walter. When the, uh, the second to last time I was in LA, I was like feeling super, super LA. How did I do it? I did it, Grace Kelly. You know the old Hollywood movie star um, scenes, especially in Grace Kelly made them pretty famous, where they're driving in a car and um, you're like, this doesn't look good, Haley. They're driving in a car with the top down and the convertibles. And then the women do this. Right? Like that. That like old Hollywood vibe. You know, it's not really playing well right now. But you guys know what I'm talking about when they do that, right? So it's kind of, it's like, it's chic. I mean, is it is it modern and updated? No, but it's good for a photo shoot. <laughs> but yeah, I, I had to post that on my storefront. The photo came out beautifully. I was just like really, I was in such a, I was, um, why was I out there? I was out there with a producer, um, it was it was a acting kind of thing, so it was like really feeling my whole old Hollywood glam stuff, and anyway, thought it was cool. Actually, it did look very chic at the time. So, uh, great. All right, another new product, another new find. Um, we've seen a lot of faux leather on Amazon. Thelma Louise, yeah, you, you see, Walter, you're awesome. Like, you totally, you totally get me, and you totally get everything that I'm trying to convey. Um, I've never bought from this brand before. I have, um, one of my, well, oh, sorry, not one of my, my favorite <laughs> vegan leather handbag designers called Levantine Handbags. They're all over my storefront. We run promotions together once in a while. They're wonderful, great bags. So, um, so I'm always like, but they, they don't have wristlets and I wanted to do, I wanted to do like a, well, this, this is a wristlet option. Okay but you could also detach it. I wanted to show a clutch today because I just thought it was, I like that look for what we're showing here. Also, yeah, so cute. But I'm always a little bit nerd. New brands scare me, but that's why you come to me because let me, let me test them out for you and then, and then you know. So you have a little closure up here, a little snap closure, cool. And people look at the price point. This is not real leather, okay? This is gold hardware. It's very gold. But it zips. And you have a lot of room here. I would buy this as a travel for travel. 
Actually, I have one, but it's not as cute, that I bought to attach to my dogs um, when I was traveling to visit my family in New York this summer. I brought both of my dogs on the plane. What is it? Oh my gosh, just like back breaking, crazy. They are not service dogs. <laughs> I like carry them in their cars. And they both count as carry on items. I'm like, well, what am I gonna do with my AirPods and my wallet and my lipstick, my phone? So I bought something, nothing that I would show you like to wear with this beautiful sheath dress um, and coat, but it's very, very similar with this wristlet option. What I did was I attached it to the side of my dog dog's um, carrier because I was only allowed to have two carry-on items, right? It's jet blue, whatever, I wasn't, and the dogs counted as carry-on items. So this is great because you just, it's this little sneaky way Right. <laughs> to add to, right? I'm not going to be like, oh, Scarlett, move over. I got to put my, you know, uh, my, my phone in there. Like, also, I wouldn't want her on my phone. All right, so that's my little story. So you have an optional wristlet, which is also great if you're, like, you could, this is a great little thing to take on a dog walk. So if, for me, I often, like, I'll take my dogs for a walk and then pop into CVS to, like, get, you know, under eye cream and paper towel. And I bring something very, very similar to this. And I use the little attaching thing and I put it on the dog's leashes. But again, we're not looking, this is not real leather. It's not gonna get super scuffed up. Doesn't owe you anything. You got a lot of zipping here, zip compartment here. This is a smaller one for your credit cards, debit cards, money. If you have credit cards, debit cards, money, which I don't, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> very little. Um, Okay, and then you have that, that section. And then you have a middle zip. This is great. I mean, look, I love bags with the storage, especially for travel. So you have another zip option. So you have a side zip that's smaller here, another inside zip, a little bit bigger, and then you have this side. So this side is for putting, you know, there's no, and then, then, you, have, then you have this zip, and then you have a closure. This is great for travel. Actually, I should have just started with like, hello, travel bag. Um, it comes with an optional shoulder chain. So this is a three-way bag. That did not come out right. You do wristlet, clutch, or shoulder crossbody, which is cool. But for me, I would wear this, I would probably not, well, you know what? Before before I say anything, let's let's take a look. Cause originally when I saw this chain, I thought, I mean it's cool, but I I wasn't totally. I thought I just I wanted to show a clutch. Like I said, I wanted to show you guys a clutch, not a shoulder bag. But so I didn't look at it. But let's see. I mean it's a look. Actually, it's kind of Jackie O. Yeah, I like it. And of course, you could wear a crossbody. This is a great travel bag. I love it. This is great. You know what? Like, hello, Europe. If you want to not look like an American tourist, which none of us like to do when we're, you know, traveling well, anywhere, right? But especially in Europe. I mean, I don't go to Europe often. I wish. Like, keep adding to cart. <laughs> kidding. Um, I love crossbody for travel. And I, and I love this size because, look, if you're, if you're sightseeing, how much, how much stuff do you really need, right? Um, so that's great. And crossbody keeps your things safer. And this is what? One, it has one, two, three, four ways to close. It's like this, this bag should be like 50 ways to leave your lover by Paul Simon, but a bag. <laughs> like 50 ways to close your handbag. It's all in the design. Anybody have any questions? Not real leather. Um, do I have a little uh, notes here? What do you guys think about the shoulder strap? Yes, yes, you like it? Sing it. No, I, I, I actually, when I went to acting school, I was originally in the, in the Broadway uh, program. I went, to, I went to HB Studios, which is in the West Village, of Manhattan and they have it's it's they have many different sections of the of the school 
one is musical theater, and that's what I got in to do. And then they were like the first weekend, like, um, your voice is very specific, and you're never gonna get a job because you need to be able to be an alto, soprano, mezzo, everything, or else you have no shot in Broadway, which makes sense. It's like, look, it's not an easy business to succeed in. Well, no business is, obviously, but but showbiz is 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 bad. So then they moved me to to film, and here we are. <laughs> Um, yeah, so fun fact. Okay, cool, love it. So I'm gonna continue to show it the way that I intended to. Let's see. Oh, um, okay. Oh, it's cowhide. Oh shoot, I messed up. This is actually real leather. Just kidding, so sorry. Oh my gosh, <gasps> this is real leather, sorry. Gold hardware, I got that one right though. This is regular leather. It also comes in pink. Don't get pink, I like it in black. Where it is wristlet, attach it to your dogs, whatever. Sorry guys, this is real leather, but whatever. Okay, cool. Do you guys wanna know like the measurements of the shoulder train drop and stuff? Because I got that, I have that on my show notes. Look, we started at 2.30, I start, I start to lose, like I start to get a little bit, you know, fuzzy. So the, the chain drop, it's like 43 inches, okay? You got a lot to work with. Cool, all right. Now, hello Melania Trump. Hello Melania. So I originally had the, the sunglasses that I loved from by her that, that she wears were um, they were Balenciaga. I originally had them on the live. Oh, sorry, my bra strap. But then I decided to not show them because I didn't, I don't own Balenciaga sunglasses. So guess what? I found an exact a product match. Here's what I love about these. Do you see the coverage here? Look at that coverage. Now, if you are driving and you want to have more sun protection, what, like, why am I, I'm always, I feel like this entire time I've either been like bent over. It's like, is she going to get sick? Or are we talking about fashion here? I'm fine. I'm in wonderful health. Most likely. So look, this covers the whole crow's feet thing. I love to buy sunglasses that have the coverage here. Because when you're driving, it, right, more coverage, sort of like when you go to the beach, if you're going to wear a turtleneck and long pants, you're not gonna get as tan. So, okay, and let me make this clear. Buying these sunglasses will not prevent you from having crow's feet, duh. But if you are conscious about maintaining, you're know, doing everything that you can to stay out of the sun and to continue to be youthful and in your typecast, which for me is 24 to 32, true um take a look at these glasses now i have a very very small face thing oh good walter you love it wonderful i have a very small face so for people that don't have as small of a face as i do these may look like not as crazy big as they do on me um look how designer they look see that little embellishment here it's very designer looking and so I have, been a, I have been a customer of this brand, it's called Sojos. Sojos, another very, very well-known um, brand, unisex options, men's, women's, the whole thing, but they have ton, they really kind of, they almost like own the sunglasses that in this price point, they like kind of own, almost own the market on Amazon. Very reputable brand, I've been a customer of theirs since I don't know. I think I, the, I think I have a pair of sunglasses that I'm showing to you, I think on Wednesday. Yeah, on Wednesday. I think I bought them in 2020. Maybe. I mean, I'll, so just because they're at this price point and they're not Balenciaga, like, you know, a couple hundred bucks, whatever it is, doesn't mean that they're not going to last. Again, you got to take care of your stuff. Treat it well. But there are no logos. So, like... The, um, 
the other kind of like lower end designer stuff or even the designer like the designer stuff they'll have like the big logos like the cc chanel or the the gucci horse bit for me i again i love understated elegance i don't I'm not a big logos, logos, logos person. It's like, it's too showy for me. I like to, I mean, even if I'm, even if this, even if this dress were $12,000, these were $800 and these were $1,500, I still would never buy it with like big branded things. That's not my style. I don't like that. But they added this design, which looks very, very designer, and there are no logos. Also, if you're somebody that's rough on your sunglasses and just generally, I mean, I'm somebody that gets in my car, I'm like, oh, da, 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 I like throw things, like they're not super expensive designer sunglasses, which is great. So you're getting a luxury look without the luxury price. That is a line that I took from my Levantine bags, handbags. That's what they, that's one of the brand descriptions that they say about their vegan leather handbags. They're like, Luxury without the luxury price tag, which I think is so, so, so genius. Um, one of my selfie lights is making this look weird, but yeah, these are great. Um, they come in a couple of different colors, but I'm going to tell you the only two colors that I would buy. Black, which you see here, and I actually like the green, which I was so surprised by. I, I don't have any green sunglasses. I don't think. Um, where are these? Oh, sorry, let me let me flip my show notes. So, um, oh, they come in a tortoise. I'm I my go-to is tortoise, especially if you have fair skin like me. Tortoise is great. Black could sometimes be a bit harsh. I don't, I'm not, I I like these in green and in black. That's those are the only two ones I would buy. But I bought black because it's very Melania. Um the the green is like almost a black. Again, I haven't seen, I, I haven't, I didn't buy them. I bought the black ones for Melania. But the green, oh, by the way, this is a limited time deal. Oh my gosh, I have picked, gosh, I picked great products. Or I just got, oh, it's President's Day. That's why there's like some serious deals going on. Oh my gosh, buy now, forever hold your peace. Yesterday, I um, had beautiful 100% organic cotton king size sheets that were 56% off and it was a limited time deal. Well, I went to walk my dogs and like the Wi-Fi was bad and then I came back up. Well, I didn't look. Guess what? It was the limited time deal had expired. I remember seeing, oh, 15 minutes. Like the limited time deals are like, oh, you have 15 minutes left. So, like limited time deals. Like they mean it to check to see how long these last. It could be like an hour. It could be more. Or in my case yesterday, like... When I went for my dog walk, the sheets were like, I don't know, $45. And when I came back, they were like $79. I'm like, what? I'm like, oh, right. I think I might have, I think they, I saw that it was, I have about 14 minutes left. So take advantage of these limited time deals. OMG, fabulous. Okay. So, okay, satin gloves. Um, an interesting choice, but we're doing first lady style here. So it wouldn't be a first lady live without showing you gloves. Now, um, I showed you guys beautiful white leather gloves um, on the first part of the four part series of first ladies. It was Jackie O style. So hi, if you're just joining, my name's Haley Felbin and this is my chic style live. Um, and I like to wear my sunglasses at night. Um, see, now you guys know why they, they moved me out of theater and into film. <sighs> um, I'm going to put these shoes on too so that you, we're going to show these. I want to show you a different look here. Um, so Jackie, all, all the first ladies, they always wear gloves. Melania on inauguration day when Trump got elected in 2020, um, she wore that gorgeous pale blue um, Ralph Lauren collection outfit with the hair back, with like the whole outfit matched. Even her stilettos, they were like just like this, but they were in that light pale blue. I've now rebranded it and I call it Melania Trump blue. Okay, this is looking a bit Audrey Hepburn, but that is not what we're doing. Hold on, let me get the outfit together. Um, 
So all of this is inspired by First Ladies. That's why I had to show you the gloves. But if you're looking for, I mean, this is a look, the satin glove, the black satin glove. And I'll show it to you. Hold, please. But if you want a more practical leather glove that's also super, 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 super sophisticated, go back, go to my, well, it's available in my live shopping, um, live shopping ideas list on my storefront. But also, you'll see it featured in the product carousel of Jackie O style, which was, I think it was like, uh, I think it was last, uh, like a week ago, Tuesday, we did Jackie, yeah, about a week ago, we did Jackie O style. Those are, they're like Napa leather gloves, some of the options are touchscreen, they're lined, they're beautiful, great. Alright, so here we go. So here's why I wanted to show you the gloves. Hello, first lady. Do you see how I did a blend of white and black and super timeless? I'm about, whoop, about to fall over. I'm about to show you these shoes, right? But look, you could actually, I shouldn't have taken these off. Look at this color balance here. i show you here. See that? I mean, this is, this is an outfit. Sorry, I style, I style for you guys a lot. I do a lot, you guys have seen a lot of outfits that I put together. I think this may be my favorite look ever. But again, I draw inspiration from the best, from First Ladies, from Audrey Hepburn. Um, this, I'm not trying to reinvent the wheel here. I'm looking at what works and I'm putting my personal style into it and I'm putting an updated flair into it. And that is what this show is about. That's what my live is about. So showing you timeless looks that have been in style forever and won't go out of style that are versatile. I pick colors, black, white, because they match everything. Cute. So now you guys understand why I wore this as a clutch and not, a, and I didn't do the gold strap because what's who, who what's my leading actor here? My leading actor in this scene would be the coat. So to put the gold chain over over would be distracting. When styling an outfit, pick your leading actor, pick pick your focal point, whether it's a dress or a jacket, and accessorize so that. Nothing takes away from your main act. No leading actor likes to be upstaged by a supporting actor. That's why there are two different categories at award shows. You have supporting actors and you have lead actors. Never be smart about accessorizing. Okay? And just don't draw away from the main act. This twirls nicely too. Oh, I was I was rewatching some of my lives and I'm like Haley, you're not smiling at all. You sound like so bossy. <laughs> when, okay. when styling, da, da, da. Okay, some comments. I can't see through the black glasses. Okay, love it. No, these are not touchscreen. Uh, yeah, very Melania. But look, but Mel guess what? Melania is mi minimalist. Um, Walter, sing it. Okay, great. Melania is a minimalist. That's a type of fashion, minimalist fashion. Um, she's also a mono, monochromatic girl. And if you've seen my lives, or if you go back into my past live streams, monochromatic, 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 minimalist, minimalist, minimalist. And there's my, and now I didn't do my, um, my voice, my voice, uh, my voice, what is it called? My voice exercises today, my voice exercises today, as you could tell, and now I have. All right, look, so these are in. 5.5? Hold on. Oh, they're here. Oh. Princess cut Melania Trump earrings. The, the, the um, size that I chose are 5 millimeters. They're called 5 millimeters dash modest. They're great. I love these. I have a lot of cubic zirconium options in my storefront. These are a new brand. Love them. 
They're sterling silver plated, which is why you're looking at this price point. Um, they also come in gold plated, 14 karat gold plated. I don't like, I don't, not my style, don't even bother. If you want the same size as Melania, the exact same size as Melania would be 10 millimeters dash, it's called substantial, I believe. Yeah, it's the 10 millimeter substantial. I chose five millimeters here, which is called modest, because when you're going, when you're not buying real diamonds, never buy something that's too big, especially if you're somebody like, like me. Look, my friends, unless, unless I hit the lottery, Oh yeah, hi, hey Richard, how are you? Nice to see you, welcome back. When you do cubic zirconium, never go too big or else, or else it looks fake, especially if you're on an actress budget and people know that, they're not gonna be like, be like uh, where'd, you, where'd you steal that from or I don't know, silly. Hey Richard, nice to see you. Okay guys, remember, I'm showing you this dress because this was supposed to be the dress that I was going to wear. And luckily, I, <laughs> I triple checked before um, before it was too late because it's totally sold out. Which means that, which is what, so I quickly bought the black, that this dress in black. If a product is sold out in white, you know to rush and buy your size in whatever available color you like immediately. White and black are typically the, the si uh, white and black are typically almost always the colors, also like a navy blue too, but white and black are almost always the colors that you see that are available and in stock when it comes to from towels to bedding to shoes to coats, right? The, like those staple, the white, the, so if white is sold out, run and get it. This is a classic sheath dress. The only, the only size, now I don't know, it could, it, it, it may not, it may be totally sold out, but the last time I checked, which was a couple hours ago, this dress, which is what I'm wearing in white, was only available in size small. So if you're size small, lucky you, go and buy it. Um, so yeah, look, I'm not trying to be salesy, I'm just, I'm telling you guys the facts. <laughs> and now before I go live, I'm totally checking everything. Also, um, quickly, I bought these for Valentine's Day. Um, I love my undergarments and I think this is just like such a great find. These are wonderful. Look, it has the garter, it has the garter belt attached to the thigh high. So it's a one stop shop. First lady style, you see a lot of, they always wear lovely coverage here. I think it's very classy. And look, if you want it, I mean, this is sexy and it holds you up. Beautiful. Also by a brand I've been wearing forever. Love their thigh highs, have them in so many different options. Not wearing them now, because it's not that kind of live. I wasn't gonna show you that. But I wanted to tell you, because I think that they're like, I've never seen, I've never seen a garter and a thigh high attached. So I was like, oh my God, I gotta show this on live. This is amazing. Um, and then finally, these are my favorite shoes ever. This is, I bought these for Valentine's Day Live in the um, nude patent leather with a bow. This is, um, this is not that color. This is just like the nude color. You got four inches, comes in black, black with a bow, black patent. There are a lot of different options. It's a four inch heel. This is beautiful. I'm actually, I really, I'm hoping, cause on, um, on Wednesday, by the way, if you're just tuning in, like Richard, um, on Wednesday I'm showing a gorgeous spaghetti, like, you know, little thin strap um, dress that is, almost exact product match to what um, Melania and Jackie O. I have photos of them wearing like the same thing. And I'm at, I, like, I'm gonna, after I finish this live, which will, I need it, it's been two hours now, so I gotta wrap it up. But I, they come in this exact style, but in a matte black. I'm wondering if I could like quickly exchange them or I don't know, I can't, I don't know if I could like get more, but these are great. They're beautiful. They, they are not a real leather, but they're soft. The other ones that I showed in my Valentine's Day Live, also available in my live stream. If you go to my storefront and click live shopping, the ideas list. Um, the ones that I showed for Valentine's Day are like a, are the nude, uh, patent nude with a bow. But because they're patent and they're not this softer leather, 
Um, they are a little bit tougher. So this is a softer material, it's sort of like when I showed you the suede, the suede versus this, this is a harder fabric. Suede is softer. I love these and they come in the exact same style in a matte black. So maybe I could get that done, but maybe I could just take a breath and, you know, go walk my dogs and yeah. So I think we're finished now with everything. Um, oops, I almost just clicked out the app as I'm scrolling through. Uh, yeah, this is a great sheath dress, everyone. I love it. Dior invented this back in the 50s and recreated in the 60s. And then again in the late 60s, Jackie O made them iconic. Michelle Obama, um, uh, Melania Trump, they all wear sheath dresses. Stunning, gorgeous, timeless. Take from the best. Um, I'm Haley Felbin. I write about style and fashion and I love this, but if you don't believe me, believe the iconic looks of the first ladies. <laughs> like, can't argue with them. So, um, okay, yeah, I'm here again, live, 3.30 Eastern Standard Time, Wednesday and Thursday. Wednesday will be the part four finale of First Lady Style. I've got some really, really great things to show you. And then we're going to spring forward and we're gonna do a really cool color trend, um, pink all over New York Fashion Week. Um, so we're gonna do some pink looks. You could see them all on my upcoming stream, live streams, if you follow me. <laughs> also, um, if you are somebody like me that needs to get reminded, and like I have a million different, um, I have so many different um, notifications on my phone, like, um, you know, my alarm goes off, it's like time to go to the gym, or my alarm goes off, it's like print show notes. I'm really bad. So there's a little icon. If you go to my upcoming live streams, it's a little bell and you could set a reminder, but just make sure that you have notifications on your Amazon app. Um, or you could just add it to calendar. You could also share it with your friends, families, lovers, girlfriends, boyfriends, sisters, brothers, neighbors, whomever you think would be um, interested in my chic style live. I'm um, pretty new here. I've been uh, doing the live stream, the live shopping on Amazon since um, about, I mean, well, January we st I started in um I started in December but they were it was like trying to build here so definitely share with friends follow along um yeah Walter hey Walter by the way big shout out to you you were wonderful you were a wonderful um guest today I mean I I like to refer to you guys as my friends because as I always say I actually spend more time with you and talk to you more than my friends and family. Look, I'm trying to build, I'm trying to be here. Also, I, I love what I do, and this is so much fun. Like, I get to perform in a way, I'm an actress, and then I also get to do my favorite thing, which is fashion and styling. Um, but yeah, Walter, huge sh shout out, thanks for participating. Um, this is Amazon Live, it's supposed to do more for you than just looking at product photography. Some of the product pages do have to have some videography, maybe some posts, maybe some reviews. Um, but you really never know until you, until you see it, and that's and that's where I come in. Um, I'm always looking for inspiration from my friends, especially the ones that return. Um, we're going to be moving into spring, but look, we're still in February, and that's why I'm still showing tall suede boots. I still I don't think that these are it's something to like not be buying right now, especially if it's it's good. It it could be. I mean, there have been snowstorms in April. In New York um, so you never know anyway um so whew, I'm going to be so late I'm supposed to meet a friend at five that's definitely not gonna happen um, but whatever thank you guys so much um, and remember if you like something click it and add to cart don't save it for later because I don't it's, earns commissions it's got to be directly attributed so support me but mainly um, follow and share would be great. I also, um, always take these, the full live streams and I upload them into other platforms. I don't, can't talk about, don't talk about that stuff. Um, we're only here. I only show you obviously Amazon products, but, um, my name is Haley Feldman and I shorten up the videos, um, and take a look. I mention people sometimes in the, in them and 
it's fun. So yeah, I really love it. Walter, you have a great day. Have a happy President's Day, everyone. We got a nice short work week. Yoo-hoo! Um, and I will see you Wednesday and Thursday. Thank you so much. Have a good night.